Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskorup from Laravel Daily Team, team of developers who work with Laravel and sometimes educate the market with some videos or articles. Sorry for my shaky voice, have a little cold, but I hope it wouldn't uh, cause any issues for you to understand the material. Topic of today is something new that appeared in latest Laravel 6.13, at this point it's the latest version, which would help to validate these messages. Something like this. Uh, these messages were constantly the kind of pain in the neck to transform to something more readable. So if you have validation for array or some more complex structure, you cannot just stick with default Laravel validation messages because they are not readable for normal human beings. So products, zero product ID, what is that? So Laravel 6.13 released a formatter for the messages. So how does it work? Uh, in this demo project, we have a typical form request. So create blade is just a form and form has array of products. So every product has product ID and quantity. So products zero and one. I simplified the example to have only two products. Then in the controller, all we need to do for validation is to use form request, store order request. And the whole magic is happening here in rules for validation. Of course, there's uh, authorization magic, and that comes from our quick admin panel generator, but that's not the topic. The topic is this one. So you have validation rule like this one, and visually it appears like that. What can you do? And that is the method that I've commented out intentionally. We will comment it in. And this is the syntax. Uh, in form request class, you can specify with validator method, and I never really understood why, what is the use case, but now Mohammed from Laravel team explained it to me in GitHub issue, in GitHub pull request for this specific feature, uh, and this is the new thing in 6.13, set implicit attributes formatter. So you can get the attribute name, in our case it's this one, so products.1.productID, you can explode it with dot, and then you can check in our case. Uh, if it's a products here, you can return different name for this uh, thing. So instead of products one product ID, let's take a look what it would look again. So we save and product number one or product number two field is required. That is much more readable or you can customize that uh, because you have that line number. So product zero or product one, that function would return the string which will be transformed to this one. So that is, again, that is new in 6.13. I will put a link in the video description to the actual pull request, so maybe you would have more context, and I hope it will help you to show validation messages a bit more pretty. If you want to support this YouTube channel, subscribe to it first, and then check out my other products, which is online courses for Laravel, or Laravel code generator for admin panels, which is at quickadminpanel.com. See you guys in other videos.